really came out of nowhere. Her fame hit a whole new level when she began dating Kanye following his divorce from Kim Kardashian. And that's just the tip of the iceberg, according to her new memoir, Down the Drain. Please welcome Julia Fox. <laughs> Entirely out of bed sheets. It's made so, out of bed sheets. Yep, and it's by um, an independent designer. Her name is Jade Maid, and she upcycles. Everyone knows I love an upcycling moment. Oh my God! So, well, ask your designer if they upcycle it in a size 14. <laughs> <laughs> this is it, like it says they so much. They definitely do. I, I just, I, it's different, and I love it. Thank I'm over you. here with my my little auntie shirt dress on. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Sometimes we have these things we do, and it just changes the course of our life, mm -hmm. which for you because I remember everybody was talking about you after this movie. And then COVID hit. And, and then COVID your life hit. took like this oh turn. God. Yeah, I really thought it was gonna be my year. I was like, that's it, I've arrived finally. And also I didn't have a backup plan. So it was like this ha kind of has to work or else like I don't I don't know yeah. what I'm gonna do. And um and I moved to LA, I got a little apartment, I was like, I'm gonna do it, and then the whole city shut down. And I lasted about three weeks in LA before I was on a plane back home, called up my ex, we were in the middle of a divorce, and got back together a month later I was pregnant. And then I, I had a little COVID baby who I am obsessed with. Uh -huh. um, but you know, obviously my life really went in a complete opposite direction than what I had envisioned for myself. Yeah. So. You know, it was, yeah. look at this baby. That always happens. You call up that ex and a baby will come <laughs> right away, girl. Yeah. But not only life change for you after COVID happened, life change after you met Kanye, because we, you know, I gotta tell you this. You would be with Kanye, Julia, and I saw y'all, y'all were jet setting all over the place. Paparazzi loved you. You wore all of these fabulous clothes. You were hanging out with all of the celebrities, and it just seemed like you had the life. You were living this life. But when I read your memoir, you paint a whole different picture. Yeah. What, can you tell us what it was really like from what I saw on the outside? Well, I actually, my really, really close childhood best friend passed away, mm -hmm. like right during that whole, whole situation. Right. And then I had another very close friend also um, die, commit suicide and oh, pass I'm away. Sorry. So I was going through this very public breakup and very public whatever, but, and people would ask me about it and I, my mind was like just so concerned with, with other things, you know? Oh, it's so, like, pull it up just a little bit and you'll be all right. You'll be all right. It's okay, we, oh we tape. You, you, gonna, you know what you're gonna have? You're gonna have a Sherry logo <laughs> right over your... <laughs> so don't even worry about it. But then, what, did you get a phone call or, you know, it just... Yeah, I, I got a phone call and it was probably one of the worst days of my life. And, and they said that Harmony had, had overdosed and died. So is this what made, like, did Kanye know Harmony? Did Kanye... No, how did we, he come we were the... only together for a month, so, you know, we didn't really have that, that much time to go and, and meet each other's family, but she was family to me, you know? She, right. Yeah, so... And, and so y'all was together for a month? Because I'm just like... It I'm... feels like a lot longer than a month. Like, right. it dragged out the aftermath for so long. And I like can't escape it. Sometimes I wish I just never did it, you yeah. know, to be honest. I'm okay. just like, why? I can't, but yeah. A month? It just seems like y'all was together for like two years. Tell me about it. It was like two Tell years. Tell me about it. I, 
I, I used to think I'd be sitting there and I'm, I'm like, you know, knowing what we know, know of Kanye, what we think in our head, and I was like, man, Julia going through it with this <laughs> one right here. <laughs> like, you know, I just, I, you know, I, I always say she was going through it, and then it made me think of Kim Kardashian, and I was like, all I picture is Kim being married to Kanye, like, and she's sitting on the edge of the bed while he paces back and forth for hours at a time just talking. Talking. Non-stop. Talking, talking, yeah. Like, both of y'all were just angels. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, more her than me, for sure. But, um, yeah, he definitely does talk a lot. But, you know, in, in that, though, he, he does have some very brilliant gems in it and all of it. You know, you kind of have to dissect it, you know. Okay. Take what you want, leave the rest. And leave um, the rest. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I know you were in all of these fashions, but I, you you know, and you had the eyes yeah. going on, but you look so beautiful in that piece Thank right you. now. You really Thank do. Thank you. I feel really good. This was honestly so hard to do, and there were so many moments where I was like, let me just call a ghostwriter. It's fine. Like, mm -hmm. I'll just, and, but then, but then I was like, you know what? How about, how about uh, I just write a couple of pages, and then I'll call the ghostwriter. And then every day it was kind of like that. And then I was like, okay, well then I'll, I'll just call the ghostwriter to edit it, you know. And then I just ended up editing it. And then now we're here. But it was not hard, and there were definitely moments where I wanted to tap out. And you know, it's... this one right here, girl. All the producers, we were all reading this. We could not put this down. Thank you. Could not put it down. That's Thank how much. You. Like your life. You talk about your life, your dating, your acting career. Those are just the tip. Of, it's just the tip of the iceberg in this memoir that mm -hmm. you wrote. Now we're getting back to what you said when you was like so con uh, nonchalantly. I used to be a dominatrix. You used to be a dominatrix. Yeah. Like, like I, I used to work at Marshalls in the return <laughs> department. <laughs> tell me about. You got to tell me about being a dominatrix. Yeah. You know, I, Cardi B recently said something, and she was talking about her past as a stripper, and she said it was a very empowering. And I like, I love that she said that because I feel the same exact way. I feel like I wouldn't be here today if I hadn't um, been a dominatrix in a really? way. Yeah, because prior to that, I think I was really, you know, maybe a little more submissive or, or something. Okay. You know, I think society kind of pushes women to be that way. Yeah. And, and then after becoming a dom, I really owned my power and I really understood it. And even prior to being a dom, you know, men would say, oh, you're so pretty, you're so hot, you're so this. And I was just always like, oh my, like, what do they want from me now? You know, it wasn't, I, I didn't believe them. But then when I started to see like, oh, I get booked more than other girls, and okay. I make more money. You was whipping that ass the, in yeah. there. Thank you. Yes. Girl. Yeah. And, and it was right very here. cathartic. You it know? was cathartic it was for you. cathartic. Like, I mean, wouldn't you love to just take a man and just repeatedly kick him in the balls, like, I mean, until what? they bleed? <laughs> you know, I, I, I have to say this. I want to do that? Julie, I would do that for free today. You, <gasps> I now, would. I, you don't even have to pay me. I have thought about a man and his I ain't thought about <laughs> kicking him in the but I have thought about. But well, it, let me enlighten you. It's the most stress relieving, cathartic, therapeutic. Just Julia, oh, you, know, like, you gotta come back, girl, because this is amazing. <laughs> Julia